guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are heading out this morning for a workout. It's just about 7.45, so perfect timing because I need to head out like any second here. But I'm gonna make my pre-workout because I didn't have any coffee this morning because I'm gonna go meet up with a friend later for coffee, which I'm excited for. It's always good to like get out of the house and work from home with friends at coffee shops. So I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna do that after my workout this morning. I think we're meeting around noon. So that'll be nice. Orange Theory this morning, so I'm excited. I like to do workout classes at least two or three times a week. So I've been switching between camp, Orange Theory, and then just like working out in my apartment gym. So today is gonna be full body day it looks like and endurance on the treads. So excited about that. I've been trying to make an effort to make sure that I go to the days where it's endurance on the treadmills because I'm getting more into running lately and it's been like so fun for me. I've been running outside, running on the treadmill. Running outside is definitely like 10 times harder I feel like but it's a great way to push myself. So I'll show you guys the outfit that we're wearing today. I'm just wearing this set from Ali Yoga. These purple leggings are so stinking cute and then this white zip up from Amazon. I've been loving Amazon workout stuff lately so I've been making so many purchases but I've been wearing this a ton and I think it's so cute so I can link it down below for you guys but we're gonna head out get the workout in this morning and kick off the day. We all know how obsessed I am with my protein oats in the morning, but I wanted to show you guys these superfood oats that I've been making. I wanted to put a little spin on it. So instead of doing egg whites for the added protein, I just add rice cauliflower instead to add some veggies in, which I know it sounds so weird, you guys, but don't knock it until you try it. All of the flavors are mixed in really well because the protein powder covers all the taste. And then I add matcha, maca, chia seeds. I stir in some Greek yogurt and then I add all of my toppings of choice. So today I did blackberries, blueberries, granola, and coconut shreds. And I'll add some almond butter, but I wanted to show you that before I added it because it's so much prettier, but seriously, it's so good. You have to try it. Very comfy casual look for the coffee shop today. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt from Adenola. Recently got this and it's so cozy. I'm a big crew neck and hoodie type of person. I discovered this brand on Instagram. I was getting ads like left and right, so I went ahead and purchased a few things. They do have a really good active wear and it's relatively affordable, which I love. So I'm gonna link everything that I got down below for you guys. I did like a little haul over on TikTok. Then for my pants, I'm just wearing these Aritzia yoga leggings. They're so comfy, so flattering on. And then a purse, it's from Song Months. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna put on some Uggs and then we'll head on out. I do have about 15 minutes before I need to leave. So I'm gonna do a quick tidy around my apartment. I just have like my laundry to take care of, the dishes, just so that when I get back, I can put everything away. Cause it typically takes around like three hours for the dishwasher and I haven't made my bed yet. So we're gonna do all that.
you're ever in Tampa, this coffee shop is one of my favorites, Davis Island Coffee Shop. It's so cute. Very like cozy vibes over here. It's a little bit outside of downtown, like I think five minutes. So it feels like a completely different vibe, which is kind of funny because it's like close to downtown, but you get a whole different type of environment. But I'm gonna head back to my apartment, get some things, or finish up the things that I started, the little chores that I started before I headed on out. Got a little bit of work done. Honestly, me, Kylie, and Anna chat a ton. We are just chatty Cathy's when we're all together. But I have a few more things to do for work, so I'm gonna head back, finish those up, finish up the chores that I started when I was back, or before I left, and then definitely wanna make an effort to get out for a sunset walk tonight because it is so freaking pretty out. This weather, you guys, like honestly, the last week has been so nice. And and it just makes me so happy. Like my mood is definitely dependent on the weather and it's so sunny. It's like the perfect comfortable temperature out. So I'm gonna do that. Also, I'm probably talking a million miles a minute because of my coffee. So sorry about that, but definitely a little caffeine overload today. some dinner. I'm about to watch some YouTube right now. I'm going to watch the Call Her Daddy podcast. I've been so into watching podcasts, like video podcasts recently. So that's what we're going to do. I usually watch them while I make dinner, but this one has Brandy Cyrus and the mom. I forget what her name is. Trish, I think. But I'm like, this is going to be such an iconic episode to watch because I was listening to it in the car earlier today and I was like I'm gonna save that for tonight because this has been like my current night routine I'll just cozy up on my couch enjoy my dinner well honestly I don't really eat my dinner out in the living room often but if you're gonna say something don't worry I don't spill anywhere my home my rules this is my quiet time but yeah i don't know why i've been so into watching video podcasts recently but if you have any video podcasts that you like please let me know i feel like my subscription box on youtube has been kind of dry recently so my other option if i just need like background noise and just kind of like something mindless i love video podcasts but i have been super into this is us on netflix i feel like i keep talking about that in my vlogs but it's just because it's kind of monumental for me to actually be enjoying a netflix show and not being sidetracked by it i usually watch it before i go to bed or something i try to intentionally watch it like i will not be on my phone or doing anything else so I typically watch between like my 7 to 9 p.m. hours because that's when I don't like to sit on my phone. But right now it's like 8 o'clock, so I think it's like 8 o'clock exactly. But I'm trying to find Color Daddy. Honestly, I love the Color Daddy podcast. Like she did the best rebrand ever. Like I genuinely enjoy every episode she comes out with now. She just is the best interviewer and she always has such great guests. I honestly didn't love her podcast when it was kind of raunchy, like not gonna lie. Just because it was complete entertainment like it wasn't really valuable to me besides the fact that it was hilarious so i guess it provided like that type of value but in terms of relatability i couldn't be any far unrelated to that and what she talked about but yeah now it's one of my favorite podcasts it was like did you guys have any concept that from that people would become so fascinated with your entire family off of a tv show entire family's life has changed like is there like a turning point or like an event or like something in media that happened maybe you can because we had just been in toronto living because he had done another show in toronto
I'm just about to head to bed, but I want to show you guys a new part of my night routine that I've been doing. Within the last couple of weeks, I've been making electrolytes before I go to bed just because obviously it helps a lot with hydration and really with muscle recovery. So I'll take a pack of the Peak um, Beauty Electrolytes. This helps with youthful skin, deep hydration. There's hyaluronic acid, ceramides. So it keeps my skin like so hydrated, so glowy. I really care about supplements as well as my skincare. Like I think skincare can go a long way, but supplements are so crucial as well. So not only do I take like beauty supplements in the morning, but I like to continue the things that I do in the morning as well as into my night. So I'll take a packet of this and then a little bit of the prime blue raspberry hydration sticks. These are very strong in flavor, so a little goes a long way. And I love the flavor of these mixed with the peak electrolytes. So good. And I just find that I sleep better. I feel so much more well rested and like hydrated when I wake up in the morning. So it's the best thing. And I literally look forward to it like every night. Before I fall asleep tonight, I'm going to do a bit of reading. I decided to take a break from the motivational self-help type of books, and we're getting back to fiction. I love a good romance book, so I picked this up on Amazon last week. So good so far. I'm about, like, a quarter of the way through, so I'll keep you guys updated. I'm hoping I can finish it by at the end of this weekend. I definitely want a pool day sometime this weekend, so perfect day to read. But read for a little bit, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. already to head down to the gym. I'm going to do an arm workout today because that's just what I'm craving, what I'm in the mood for. I'm going to film my workout for TikTok and then I'll also bring you guys through a little bit of it. If I'm going to be so honest, I'm like not really in a chatty mood this morning and I kind of am overwhelmed. I just have a lot of work to get done today. So I'm gonna, it's going to be a pretty work heavy day. So I won't really vlog much of that, but I'm excited because tonight me and all my girlfriends are going to go to the beach. We're ordering sushi for takeout and going to have like a very chill relaxing sunset night which i'm looking forward to i feel like that would be the perfect way to end off my week because i'm kind of feeling like a little bit drained creatively and i'm not even in the mood to vlog today but i just wanted to be like very raw and open with you guys because not every day do i wake up feeling like super motivated and inspired and like creative and it's hard sometimes when filming my life and bringing you guys along through my life is like my job because sometimes it feels very performative and I think social media in general feels very performative especially lately and I feel like I have these conversations a lot internally and also I like bring you guys kind of through my internal monologue because it's hard to see and follow like so many people on social media and consume so many lives of others that you may not even care to see just through like being on TikTok and stuff. So I've definitely created like a healthy boundary with social media scrolling and everything. But in terms of like my personal social media channels and like creativity and stuff, sometimes it's hard to feel like motivated to film and stuff every day and I can't just like take a week off and not do anything. And I love to like share my life with you guys and everything and be as open and honest as possible and not feel the need to do things to make a vlog interesting or do things to, I don't know, I honestly I have no thoughts right here right now, but essentially I posted a vlog yesterday and I was rewatching it. I think just from like editing it for so long, I was getting like so tired of it, but I'm like, wow, this vlog is very similar to another vlog that I'll be posting soon. And I feel like I just do a lot of the same things day to day, but at the end of the day, don't we all? <laughs> like, don't we all kind of live very parallel lives and share lots of the same experiences in a way? You know, you go to work, you come home, maybe you work out in the mornings, make breakfast, like, I don't know. I think I stress myself out too much sometimes and it makes me emotional that I get this way, but it's something I'm really trying to work through being somebody that has OCD perfectionism. It's really tough and I want to make a whole, maybe even like a very honest sit down video about it, but it's something that I'm still trying to come to terms with and something that I'm still dealing with internally. And I like to share things while I'm going through it because I think it can help people also feel comforted knowing that maybe you don't always have it figured out every single time and someone could be dealing with the same thing as you while you're also going through it. That also really helps me feel comforted in times of, oh my gosh, like 
what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this type of way? Maybe I would do a podcast episode because I think tears would flow and I don't know if I want that on the internet. But anyways, I guess this turned into a very random chat and tangent, but all that to say, I'm gonna go get my workout in because that always makes me feel really, really good. And I think I just need to focus on that and have no distractions this morning and kind of just like settle into my day in a little more of a positive note. Maybe I'll journal for a little bit too because I don't know why I'm feeling this way, but I just want to snap out of it. Beach ready. I decided to go for a very comfy, cozy look. This sweater is my all-time favorite thing ever. I got this during the winter time at American Eagle. So good. I also have it in a cream color. I just wear them all the time because they're like very lightweight, but also very, very warm. Not that I need to be warm tonight by any means. And then I just threw on these flowy pants from Abercrombie. Love these so much. They're the best. I think they're from like the Soft AF collection, which do not sleep on that collection because it's very similar to Skims. Skims, I always say, is unmatched, but these from Abercrombie are so good. And then my little beach bag with my towel and everything. I think we're going to my friend Paige's after to hot tub, which will be so nice. So I have my swimsuit underneath. But yeah, I had a good rest of the afternoon. I kind of just spent the day to myself and didn't really pick up the vlog much because I was working and then I read by my pool for a little bit which was really nice I just needed to like shut my mind off for a bit I was catching up with my mom on the phone and yeah it was a good rest of the afternoon I'm so happy that the UV was like five it's been forever since it's been like warm enough to lay out by the pool and I just felt like so content and I definitely needed that but anywho I'm gonna head on out where I think we're grabbing sushi first and then going to the beach for sunset. I don't really know the entire plans, but one of my favorite spots to get sushi ever. It's kind of out of the way, but it's like 35 minutes from where I live. It's more so in the Clearwater area, but it's called OEC Sushi. Biggest hole in the wall type of place, but it is so, so, so good. Like the sushi rolls are just so voluminous, like so fresh tasting, nothing beats it. So if you're ever in the Tampa area, I would recommend going out of your way to try it because I love it. I also love Soho Sushi, which is way closer to me, but my friend lives lives in clear water and obviously it's closer to the beach. So I'm gonna head out to that and have a good rest of the afternoon and night, which I'm excited for. We're cutting it close on sunset, but- No, we're not. We're cutting it close on golden hour. Yeah, that's the true. The sun doesn't start setting for like 25 more minutes. That's at 617. Mm. But golden hour is the best hour. I'm not a big golden hour girl. Really? Yeah, I'd rather see sunset. I'd rather see everything. Oh. The girls are chasing sunset. Let's get it. <laughs> Dig in. Yeah. 